Hey, today I am bringing it. Okay, I will tell you what mods I use. So, hi everyone. I am finally bringing a super requested video and I have honestly been procrastinating this video, but it's finally here. I am showing you my favorite mods that I personally use for The Sims 4. If you wanna know what mods I use, keep watching right, this video so i have a long list of mods and we're gonna go start with the basics for the first basic mods i have a loading screen that a lot of people has asked me about and it's this one it's just called free sims 4 free loading screen and it's this beautiful beautiful loading screen from the sims summit so here's the loading screen in gameplay with my g shade which is strawberry milk tea by me and it's just so pretty so cute so another Another small basic mod that I love is this cast background that I have. I've been really loving the cast background where it looks like the Sims 2, Sims 3 era. I love the mirror. I'm surprised the Sims 4 didn't do this. So I'm so thankful for modders for doing this for us. So the one that I personally have is the Minimalist by Alcris. I think that's how you say it. Here is the cast background in action. Like as you can see there, you can can see her reflection in the mirror which I absolutely love and I just love the nostalgic feeling of having a mirror like this because it's like similar to Sims 2 and Sims 3 days so I love this cast background so much it's so cute so simple and y'all need to download it while we're in cast another mod that you all have to have like I tell everyone that they need this especially if you download so much CC is called the more columns in create a sim I have the four, no, I have the five column version just because I have a lot of CC and I want to be able to see all of them. And yeah, this is the five columns mod in action. Like, look how much more room this mod gives you. And also, I know some people have an issue where your screen cuts off. What I recommend if your screen does cut off is go to accessibility in your game options and turn down the UI a bit to make it smaller to the point where it doesn't cut off anymore. If you're using five columns and it still cuts off after using the UI scale, you might have to just use three or the four column option. Also, while we're still in CAS, another mod that I love using, especially if you love creating sims and you're really annoyed at the vampires moving all the time or the spellcasters moving all the time or you're just annoyed at your sims moving all the time, I highly recommend the stand still in cast mod because this will change your life it just makes your sim not move at all and it's just easier to change the faces it's easier for them not to you know move around and be annoying so here is also the stand still in cast mod in action she's not moving at all besides like blinking here and there occasionally i love this mod it's so simple so easy to use you just literally pop it in your mods folder and your sims will stop moving now we are getting into the essential mods that like i can't live without this mod because it's just so good but it is the ui cheats mod and i love this mod because let's say you're doing that 100 baby challenge and a random relative just passes away and all of your kids are suddenly sad now you don't want to deal with that sad moodlet so with UI cheats with a right click of your mouse over that moodlet makes them not sad anymore. So UI cheats, beautiful. Let's say if your game crashes and you lose a lot of progress, if you don't wanna have to manually redo all the progress you lost with UI cheats, you can just go to their skills and then right click the skill that you lost progress on and then click the level that you got it to before your game crashed also you can see here she has annoying moodlets like her fear fear of unfulfilled dreams if you don't like that moodlet either 
just right click and it's gone just like that same with the fear here if you're so annoyed with the fears because i know i am a lot of my adult sins get the same dang fear all the time and i'm like chill so to get rid of the fear just right click it remove it with ui cheats installed and bam there you go and then if it's your sims wedding and then your sims about to pass out if their energy is really low like this all you have to do is click it all the way to the end or as far as you want it and it will fill up the bar with just a click i love it it's simple and everyone needs ui cheats in their life our next mod that i love using is the mc command center and this one's a little bit complicated because there's like a lot of features with this mod but to download this one you just go here and i highly recommend also in Installing MC Woohoo along with the MC Command Center, like the original one. With MCC, there's two ways of using MCC. One is with a computer, which I will be purchasing. With any computer, you can click the computer and click MC Command Center right here, and it shows you all of these options. And if you installed MC Woohoo as well, it will show up here. But what I love about MC Command Center is that it adds other types tiny gameplay elements too, like child support. So to get to child support, you would go to MCCC settings and then go to money settings. And then you have child support percent right here. And then you can add how much money you want to get from child support. And then if you scroll all the way down after setting your percentage, you can choose who pays child support. So for me, I have it on unmarried only. So unmarried sims that the children isn't living with, that person will have to pay child support or you can have married only or all. If you downloaded the extra add-on, which is MC Woohoo, these are the options. With Woohoo Pregnancy, you can do like Risky Woohoo percent. And in the other settings, you can have your Sims automatically Woohoo on their own without having to tell them. And then all these other cool options with MC Woohoo. So make sure if you do want these options in your game to download the MC Woohoo part as well. Here are some little tiny gameplay models mods that I love having. I didn't know I needed this mod until I got it and it is the bed cuddle mod by the pancake one and Mizor Yuki. As you can see in the image right here, Bella and Mortimer are cuddling in bed and it's just so so cute. So all you have to do is have your sims couple go to bed and they will automatically cuddle like this and it's so cute and sometimes they like switch sides on who cuddles who and there's like a little like kiss animation if they want to do it oh 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 there it is this mod is super small and tiny but it adds so so much to your gameplay like it's actually kind of crazy all right another mod from the pancake one and mizor yuki this one adds more cute romance options i love it because it adds more like animations more cute interactions so we get slow dancing dip kiss intense kiss bed makeout and cuddle from behind and this is what those interactions look like this is the slow dancing interaction which is super cute adorable love that and then the next interaction is the dip kiss which looks like this Ooh, cute look at that <laughs> another interaction is the intense kiss which looks like this there it is that is quite intense if you ask me and then we have the cuddle from behind, which I also think is super, super cute. Super simple, but also really adorable. Like, look at that. That's so cute. And the last interaction that comes with cute romance is the bed makeout. And I will say this interaction is quite spicy. Yeah, 
so l l let's give them some room <laughs> that is the cute romance mod and it is amazing this mod is called the drama mod and i recently downloaded this and it just adds more drama it adds more spice it adds more interactions so with drama mod to work properly you must download the xml injector which they provided in the download post for the drama mod and it looks like this and you just put it in your mods folder basically these are all the available interactions with more drama you can choose violence you can lie about where you've been boldly flirt get off property snooty introduction accuse of cheating convince partners cheating argue about relationship insult hygiene call simch have what are we talk complain about in-laws and petty job i feel really bad having to do this with these two so we're gonna do it with her exes so here is our ex the drama mod has its own little menu right here here are the options we can petty jab yes girl let's cause some drama so yeah look at this you can cause so much drama with that we can call him a cinch and then also install his hygiene because we think he's stinky told it like it is from stinky sim Whew, i had to get that off my chest that sim smells like burnt goopy carbonara just call me petty pancakes from petty job yep i said it sometimes it feels good to be petty but they didn't even know i knew that for video purposes, I'm gonna have the romance be up just a bit and their friendship up just a bit so I can show you the what are we talk. Oh, here we go. So if your sim has been talking to someone and they haven't really gotten together yet, with this mod, you can ask your sim has been seeing and see what they think about your relationship. <gasps> and there he says, you're my person. I love hanging out with you. Maybe you should make it official. So Hunter totally digs us and he told us straight up that he wants to date us. And then if you want more drama to your game, you can also argue about relationship and then you can choose what you and your sims argue about. So there's the we never woohoo anymore. I have needs. You've turned into the boring couples. You've been spending way too much simoleons or I want to break up. And obviously since Miss Daisy has her boo, we're gonna say we want to break up with Hunter. And he is not happy at all. Look at that. Single soon. There. I finally got that off my chest. I haven't been happy for a while now. It might be time to move on. So yeah, that is the drama mod. I love it. Another mod that I love using is called the first impressions mod. And basically it's what the title is. When you first meet a sim, some sentiments pop up telling you whether or not your sim likes the sim that they just met or if they absolutely despise them. So this is a really cute mod and adds more detail and more like story. So with first impressions this only works with sims you have never met before so we have this sim and we're gonna go ahead and just have daisy go ahead and do a friendly introduction and as you can see here this is this is first impression of daisy and daisy's first impression is that she likes him or she thinks he's interesting daisy thinks alika is interesting but Alika thinks we're annoying. So this is what I mean when let's say you have a sim that you want to meet and then those two sims end up not liking each other. You can use that as like a enemies to lovers trope and first impressions is just really good for storytelling and I love it. It's really cute, really simple and it's a must have. And the next mod is by the same creator who made first impressions and this one is called Woohoo Wellness and I I absolutely love this mod so much. It's my top, 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 top mod of all time, especially since I love family gameplay. This adds so much to your sims gameplay. You can have a teen pregnancy reaction, having like partners disagree with having a baby or not having a baby, adoption, artificial insemination, the surrogates, and like basically almost everything you can think of of like pregnancy. It just makes the sims for pregnancy so much more fulfilling, I guess. And this is how I get attached to my sims, y'all. And luckily our girl 
old Daisy is pregnant so I can show you so many things with the Woohoo Wellness mod. Now that she is pregnant, she actually gets cravings with this mod. So she's craving rich food. Daisy is dreaming of greasy pizza, cheese loaded mashed potatoes. And since she is craving that, you can actually click on her and go to pregnancy and family and you can have her actually get the craving that she wants and then there's other options where we can discover what she's having and also you can have your sims either be excited or sad or neutral to being pregnant so you would click define a pregnancy wish so you can manually choose yourself or have it be random if you don't know the story you want to take your sim with but for daisy she has five kids at home so she's neutral to having children and since she's neutral to having children she has this moodlet this pregnancy feels like a special and important time in daisy's life she feels reasonably ready for it a little scared a little enthused a little everything to be honest some look at her like she should be happier but daisy He's just taking it in stride without any extreme emotion but her husband as you can see here he does not want a child so that causes drama so since jay is not excited about the pregnancy we actually have these other options that we can try to convince him to accept the pregnancy or we can like try to reassure about the pregnancy and yeah so let's go try to reassure jay about the pregnancy pregnancy like look at him he looks so upset normally without this mod most sims will be like oh you're having a baby that's cool but with this mod with woohoo wellness it adds more different reactions it adds more drama more spice and it just gives your sims more personality rather than sims being happy all the time there's these other dramatic options too, where if your sim has been seeing other people, you can have like the baby daddy question being the father of the child. You can actually take a paternity test. But yeah, that is a overall view of Woohoo Wellness. There's so much more to the Woohoo Wellness, but it would take as long as this video is just to explain Woohoo Wellness. So I highly recommend downloading Woohoo Wellness and y'all can discover more stuff about who wellness on your own if you decide to get this mod. The next mod is Wonderful Whims. This is a family friendly version of the other mod, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I absolutely love Wonderful Whims for the attractiveness system. I love knowing whether or not my sim is extremely attracted to a sim I made or like just, just extremely not attracted to a sim. So if you see right here with Wonderful Whims, your sims can find other sims attractive and and with this sim, Daisy finds Alika basic looking, but with her lover, Jay, she finds him very attractive. And then with Hunter, she finds him attractive, which is cute. With Wonderful Whims, you can also choose your sim's preferences. If you made a sim specifically for your sim to find attractive and she finds them, you know, basic looking, you can make sure that they like them by picking the trait that sim has. So like preferred hair color, if the sim that you made for your sim you know they have black hair make sure you click black hair and all the other hair colors that you want your sim to like and with the attractiveness system there's like so many different traits that you can choose from but along with wonderful whims it comes with more stuff so if you click wonderful right here on your sim and click settings you have all these other settings you have woohoo settings and you can have your sims you know have wtds if you want it on to make it more realistic there's pregnancy settings you can have your sims have a period if you want to make it more realistic there's birth control settings wonderful whims is great for better pregnancy a better attractiveness system and it's great for like storytelling and all that this mod quickly became one of my favorite mods of all time it is the childbirth 
Earth mod by Pandasama, and this mod is just amazing. Like, I could do like a whole video on just this mod. With the newest update, your sims are able to give birth at home, which is so cool. Yeah, this mod is just amazing. Like, you are able to start a home birth, you can go to the hospital, but you need to get to work for that. And there's like super cute interactions when you have someone accompany you to the birth. So once you install the mod, you go to your phone, go to home, and then you call the obstetrician. And then you have all these different options deciding what kind of birth you want your son to do. The surgery machine is just the basic birth option that comes with the game. Natural delivery is what we're going to do today. This one is a c-section and the home birth is the water birth at home but for this video we're only going to do one option and we're going to do the natural delivery this pops up and it tells you like basically more details about the natural delivery option so we have chosen natural delivery once you pick that you can ask your sims partner to accompany your birth so we're gonna have daisy ask jay to accompany the childbirth and i'm not missing the birth of our baby yes i will be there so with mc command center actually you can speed up the pregnancy and force her into labor and that is what is happening this is from woohoo wellness that's it the baby's getting born we're gonna go ahead and go to i cannot have a baby while on vacation okay we'll go ahead and end this vacation early and go straight to the hospital we are here once your sim gets to the hospital you have all the doctors here while we are in labor we have all these extra options that comes with the childbirth pod for your sim to give birth they have to be 10 centimeters dilated so just like real life all you have to do is clean click on an exam bed, ask to check dilation, and click any doctor that you want. Since we know Eve, I'll go ahead and ask her. And we are barely one centimeter dilated. So to make your sim be more dilated, I highly recommend using the exercise ball. And then you can also do breathing exercises. I know what's also cute is this like a super cute interaction as well. So we can sway together this mod comes with like super cute added interactions that i absolutely adore i just get so attached to my sims seeing them go through a process like this and here there's more moodlets she's getting contractions daisy's contractions are definitely uncomfortable but manageable for now perhaps she should rest up while she can or maybe take a walk before another one becomes unbearable one way or another she should definitely take advantage of this calm before the storm also with this mod you can actually ask for an epidural so if your sim is like in super intense pain you can ask the doctors for an epidural shot so look at that that is scary but here we go let's see oh no so with receiving the epidural it did not go well so something doesn't feel right daisy is only feeling numbness on half of her body and she's still in pain it's best to let the obstetrician know to see if there's anything that can be done about it so uh oh and then with that failed epidural i'm sorry to hear that let me try replacing it to see if it helps hopefully this works better okay pain relief nice finally some pain relief getting the epidural didn't hurt at all daisy's feeling a slight tingly sensation but it is nothing comparing to the contraction she can't wait for the medication to take effect now we should ask this doctor to see where we're at okay we are seven centimeters we're getting super super close Okay, so we are fully dilated. Talk to one of our obstetricians to go into labor right away. Let's go. Let's go give birth. And let's go ahead and go with Shane because, I mean, he gave us the epidural. Now this thing will transform completely. And there we go. So the person that you asked to accompany with will also be able to like watch with you like this. And it's just, oh, I feel so close to my sims. I just love this mod so much, y'all. I love this mod. The baby's coming out. <gasps> Look at the baby. And since Jay actually did not want a child, he actually has this sentiment called unwanted child. Jay is still struggling to come to terms with having this child. So woohoo wellness plus realistic childbirth mod, they go well so together for added extra drama for your sims game. 
And this is a, another short, tiny mod and is auto shorter teens. I personally don't like the fact that teens are just as tall as young adults because it's hard to tell whether or not they're a teen or a young adult. So with this auto shorter teens mod, it makes just teens a little bit shorter and I think it's cute, honestly. It's another cute mod that just adds tiny details that you didn't think you would need but like once you have it installed it's just like wow why didn't i have this so before? yeah that was my mods list this video has been requested for so long and so many times and it is here and i hope you all found a new mod to try out today but yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to comment down below and give this video a huge thumbs up thanks for watching everyone i'll see you on the next video bye everyone i